My name is Peter Sorrell, and I am a, what they call a unit photographer, or a still photographer. My usual work, of course, is 75% color, and uh, it involves the actors. The movies, publicity, and advertising dictates that that is what I have to do. You know, I start the film, I first read the script, and when I read the script, I know uh, immediately which half a dozen scenes or so are the key scenes in the film, which absolutely have to be covered really well. And it doesn't mean that I won't cover the others, because many times accidentally something happens on a, in a visual sense. But dramatically speaking, you have to do those scenes which, which will... Uh, enable the production company to uh, to uh, the publicity arm of the company to uh, to market the film The quality of the images, uh, the film is different, not quite so grainy as motion picture film. If you want to blow up a, a still frame from a movie, it will blow up to uh, not really a size of a poster, uh, because it would be grain size of your fingers, you know, it, it won't look very good. Whereas uh, you know, a still photographer has the ability to pick a certain kind of film emulsion which will uh, enable him to have a, a frame which is really sharp. The grain is sharp and therefore it will blow up. What we do started out in the early 1920s when uh, to do a still shot you have to have a you had a, a large camera you know and an assistant and everything stopped and everybody posed and this industry was based on that that the still photographer is a, a, around the camera crew and around the actors and he works usually when the show when the shot is finished he comes in by the 1950s, this changed into try to shoot while they are rehearsing or while they're shooting because we can't take that much time as, as it was possible before. All the rest, what, what I do, when you say, uh, well, okay, you're an artist, uh, 
Well, I, that's very nice to think so. Uh, however, many times the artistic pictures would be totally unusable for their purposes. It, and I don't mean this as a judgment for any company. It is, uh, it's the reality of, of uh, what I like to do, maybe, uh, uh, is, is a picture of an empty set or, or of a shadow. And, and many times these pictures are totally useless. Uh, so you do this on your own time after you've done the, the, the material, uh, what you have to, why they hired you. That is why you're there and uh, first you perform, then you play. It was one of the most interesting projects for many reasons. One was that it was an intelligent script which made this terribly gruesome story visually and dramatically acceptable, I think, to the audience. The audience did not leave the movie theater gasping and throwing up because we never showed the bodies. We never, I mean, we showed very little of it. We never showed the actual act of violence, but only the outcome and the aftermath. So I really appreciated that. It was intelligent. I personally would much rather shoot during the actual performance because actors give their all while they're doing it. And as much as they are, uh, they, they say or then they mean that they will do it again for you, they, it's a little different. When you do it for a still camera, it's just a photograph, it's not important. When you do it for the film, you act. When you do it for a still, some actors act and some actors uh, sort of uh, sleep through it or smile. 
pleasantly, you know, and that's not what we need. I mean, the drama is gone. 